Good afternoon, good afternoon. This is Marie Holiday, and today is Sunday, September the 27th, 2020. And before we get started, I just want to remind everyone to hit that subscribe button and notification button. And if you have not subscribed, please do so and follow and support my channel. So the focus of this segment is I want to talk about, and I'm really excited really to talk about this topic. I want to share with the audience to talk about my last phase of renovation to my home before I sell it. Uh, and I want to talk about some tips on how I you uh, was able to accomplish a tremendous amount of renovation in my home. Uh, I've been in my home, I purchased my home seven, uh, seven years ago. Uh, if you've been following my channel, uh, the audience is aware that I've been accelerating my mortgage and got the got the balance down so low, uh, the, 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 the mortgage will be paid off in a couple of, about two and a half years, and, and by the time I pay it off, I will have paid off a 30-year mortgage in 10 years, and I literally got myself on the trajectory to meet that goal. You know, the bill is so low, I can touch it. But anyway, I want to talk about the last phases of my renovation to my home before I uh, put it on the market in two years, um, uh, which, you know, 24 months, two years, you know, can go by quick, especially when you got a major project to do to get your home ready to put on the market. And all of this ties into my retirement journey. You know, this all ties into my retirement journey I'm excited. Uh, I've got about three and a half more years before I retire. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to, by that time, I will have sold my house, use some of that money to purchase me a, a, a small town home in Florida. So I want to talk about uh, what I've already done in terms of renovations since I've been in my home for a little bit of seven years. Um, first of all, I had the entire upstairs of my home i have a three bedroom home um and it's spacious more than a room that i need uh i had the entire upstairs floors all of the carpet taken up everything is hardwood floor upstairs uh that includes the stairs uh another project i've had done over the course since i've been in this home even though my daughter is in the military, she's long gone, she's gone for three years. But what I did to her room, because I'm, I wanted to raise the value of this home, I went in and had the contractors to go in and open up her closet, meaning knock down that wall in that room, and get, gave her closet an open concept. And what that does is it allows you to see all of the space in that room. Um, and I, if I would have been thinking, I would have had the, 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 the wall in her room knocked down first before I had the hardwood floor put in. So when they went in and did that, they also had to, to uh, redo an area of the hardwood floor in that room. Also, what I've had done to this home since I've been in it are... Uh, uh, the, my bathrooms. I had a full bathroom. Have a full bathroom, two half bathrooms. So what I had the contractors to do is renovate the entire bathrooms. They went in, uh, uh, took out the toilets, took out the the, the bathtub, took all of that old uh, plumbing out of there, old toilet, the old bathtub, and literally had that redone. Also in the bathroom, in, in, in the master bathroom, I had a wall knocked down to expand the space of that, that, that bathroom. So that was a major, major project. Uh, also they laid towel, uh, I had the floors in the bathroom upstairs redone. Uh, uh, had, the, uh, had all that redone since I've been in here. So I've had major work on this home since I've been here. Also, since I've been in my home um, uh, a couple of years ago, the entire, my entire roof has been replaced. A whole brand new spanking roof placed on my home since I've been here. Uh, another thing that I've done since I've been in this retirement journey, had, had the electrical stuff all redone and modernized. 
um, brand new water heater. So major, major work done on this house. Uh, and, and actually with the brand new roof a couple of years ago, my home homeowners association, actually they came in and replaced everybody roof. It was optional. And they asked me, Miss Holiday, do you mind if we give you a brand new roof? And I say, absolutely, absolutely. So I didn't really have to pay for that roof. So that is what, and, and, and mind you now, I didn't do all this at one time. I did it in increments over the course of seven years since I've been in my home. So I want to talk about what's left. You know, 90% of my renovation is done. The only thing that's left, and I deliberately left this to the end, is for my downstairs, I'm gonna get that redone in hardwood floor. And, and then once that, all that's done, once they put the, lay the floors down, I'm gonna go ahead and have them paint the interior of my home. And I'm earmarked to have the rest of that done uh, December of this year. Um, the last major renovation I had done on my home was 2019. I believe what ha I had done in 2019 is the bathroom floors upstairs. So that once I get my floors done downstairs, the inside of my home done, the totality of all of my renovation that I've done over the past seven years will be finished in its totality. And one thing I do want to say is that I have been able to accomplish all of this in increments at a time out of the course of seven years without going in debt, without taking out home renovation loans. I did it all in cash, room by room, and I budgeted into my budget. As I was able to go through this process, I was still able to save on my monthly saving goals. Nothing interfered with that. I just wrote down on a piece of paper over the course of seven years, room by room, on this is what I want to get done to increase the value of my home, to get it ready to put on the market and make a truck load of money. But it took discipline and patience to do that. Hear what I'm saying without taking out home renovation loans, without using credit cards, because I don't use credit cards, I literally, literally re re renovated my entire home without going in debt by increasing the value of it. One of the things I also did on each home renovation project over the course of the past seven years, I will always, I will always have three different contractors, professional contractors who will come in and give me a free estimate. I will also check for references and I also, I also kind of interviewed them without them knowing that I was interviewing them because I'm paying attention to the customer service. I'm paying attention to were they on time for that free consultation appointment. I paid attention to the references and I paid attention to my also just my gut. And there were a lot of this and sometimes you get a bad apple every now and then to slip in. You know, uh, when I, I I remember when I had one of the particular contractors uh, who worked on re, uh, redoing my bathrooms. My, I wasn't, my, I wasn't feeling his spirit. I, I really wasn't. You, even though he was doing a good job, but he was, but, but sometimes he would be late on the job. You know, or I, 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 I'm, I, I don't know if they'd be working multiple jobs at one time. There was one time where he didn't show up at the last minute, and I never used him again. You know, uh, even when I get the last finishing touches done in December with my floors downstairs and my paint job on the inside. Same thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna have three different contractors come out. I actually already got a really good recommendation. Um, the contractors who re did my roof, you know, when they came in and replaced my roof, they also do other stuff. And I was paying attention to uh, their professionalism, their their customer service. Uh, they, they 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 they. I paid attention to their work ethics, and I'm thinking, hmm, I kind of like what I see. 
you know, and, and, and I kind of begin to have a discussion with one of the supervisors and I say, you know what? I got a job that I'm gonna need coming up in December this year. So uh, hey, let, let's let me get you back out here when I get ready to do that. So make sure when you get renovations on your house, you 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 interview three different contractors, you pay attention to the references, you pay attention to their customer service, and then don't go in debt to renovate your house. I don't care if you gotta do room by room, a floor here, or knock down a wall there. Or redo the bathroom here do it in a way where you can work it in your budget save for it because it was a powerful feeling as I began to see my entire home be re renovated room by room wall by wall floor by floor and to let this be unfold before my eyes and in in knowing when that contractor finish the job I was able to give them cash money the bill paid zero bill without using a credit card without taking a loan that's power but in order for me to do that I had to have the skills the money management skills the discipline to do it a little bit at a time because what a lot of people try to do is they want to get all this stuff done at one time knowing DAM well they can't afford it so that's how I was able to literally revamp my home, brutify my home at the same time prior to putting it on the market without going in debt. And the last phase of my renovation would be complete December of 2020. So I hope the audience uh, got something out of this uh, 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 in terms of tips on how you can renovate in a way that fits your budget and save money. Don't forget, hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification button, and I want to thank my audience and my viewers for supporting my channel. Have a great day. Simplify. Have a great day.